Good afternoon, my name's Tom, and today's video is about hurricane prep, because we're expecting, you know, a very nasty hurricane season this year due to the La Nina shift, plus um, elevated uh, Atlantic sea temperatures. I'm not an expert, so I'm not going to make predictions on what the hurricane season is going to do, but what the experts are predicting is significantly more bad than average um and last year i ineffectively made a long-winded video on prepping and um wasn't very helpful it started after hurricane season began so to piggyback off of investing in yourself with your spare cash uh now is a good time if you're in hurricane alley to uh, start considering putting your money towards uh, simple preps for emergency storms. Now, uh, as people prepare for emergencies, for some reason, they buy excessively large amounts of these or various uh, sizes, brands, you know, models. I'm trying not to use the words because I don't want to get... Uh, you know, I don't want to trigger an algorithm that kind of shadow bans this. But let's just say this little box contains 15 units of um, 20 gauge. And in any sort of situation uh, involving, you know, unfriendlies entering uninvited, well, you know, 15 is more than enough if you can't if 15 won't solve the problem you can't solve the problem so we're gonna set that aside it's okay to buy those it's okay to have them I recommend you know having uh, an option in your house for those scenarios but do not spend all of your money stockpiling that's just silly at least not stockpiling those so the first thing you should be considering is food insecurity. You know, the bridge is out, the power is out, the stores are shuttered, um, gas stations are knocked out. You have to make do, and you have to make do with what's available in your cabinet. And so we need to consider, you know, things that don't need to be refrigerated. And are a good source of, you know, protein and whatnot. Um, well, this is not an excellent source of food in terms of vegetables, but, you know, it's got uh, good protein and fat and carbohydrates and a little bit of veg. And, of course, the cheap and easy and doesn't need to be rehydrated form of protein, beans. And, you know, the question is, well, Tom... Why should I have all of, you know, these things stockpiled up when I'm worried more about uh, unfriendlies? Several uh, things to consider. Um, you may need this for unfriendlies. You might. But you are guaranteed to need these every single day. You might need this once in a lifetime, and once in a lifetime is a lot. You need this every day. And so, you know, you don't have to stock up on canned goods alone, though those are like one of the most secure. You can also buy MREs. Uh, I believe the price is elevated right now because there's a market for, well, uh, emergency preparations. But canned goods are, you know, cheap and easy. Um, and, you know, you just want to have that available to you because you will need it every day versus you might need something once in a lifetime. And, you know, that's just food for thought. Invest in yourself, but invest wisely. And make sure you appropriate your funds um to the things you will need every day when it comes to your savings and your emergencies 
We got a couple of months before this hurricane season starts, so now is a good time to uh, make that investment in yourself. Have a good day. Like, share, subscribe, comment, and uh, good luck.